Hey guys, today we're going to go over the 7 best removal spells in Magic the Gathering. And there's been a lot of amazing removal. I'm picking my 7 best based on the cards I play most with. Also based on the strength, the flexibility, and what formats it dominates in. So number 7, Path to Exile. This is the premier removal in white for modern. It's not only just and white, you will splash white to play this card. This card is the end all be all for removal and modern. Number six, Wrath of God. So Wrath of God has always been one of those cards that until recently, it was one of the most recognized cards in Magic's history. I remember playing Wrath of God when it was in beta. Uh, Wrath of God was obviously in alpha and then it was reprinted in some other core sets. This was a card that I remember playing the kitchen table with and it's just that good. Which brings me to the number five card, which is Damnation. Everything that you love about Wrath of God, Damnation is, except it is black. Uh, the only reason I have Damnation higher than Wrath of God because there is such a demand for Damnation to be reprinted, I felt that maybe I'll just have it a little bit higher I think the color, the black and white, both colors should have a wrath effect similar to each other. And I love the symmetry. Number four, Terminus. So Terminus is extremely good. Essentially, it's Wrath of God, even better, for one. It's hollowed whatever for one. And it is incredible because if you're playing in Legacy, you have manipulation. Uh, every deck is playing Brainstorms, Ponders. There's no way you cannot manipulate a Terminus when you want to at instant speed at your opponent's turn on your turn anytime you want it terminus is a one one white wrath effect next we get into a top three and abrupt decay so abrupt decay definitely a card i've speculated heavily on i own a lot of copies of this card it's just so good it's good in edh it's good in tiny leaders it's good in modern it's good in legacy it's good in vintage the card is very good. I mean, what else could you really want? Uh, it deals with the reason it's so good is because it deals with those quick effects like a Tamagoyf or a Bob or anything that your opponent is going to run you over with, you deal with it at instant speed and they cannot interact with it. So, should it be a Pestermite uh, and Modern or even. <laughs> You know, a Liliana. Abrupt Decay, fantastic card. Now we'll get into the top two, and the top two I can go back and forth, but I am going to pick Swords of Plowshare for number two. Uh, the reason I feel like Sword of Plowshare is this good, instant speed, one white, takes care of any problem you have, and they gain life. Life is not a big issue for a lot of these decks. So that's number two. Number one, you're going to see this card on a lot of my top sevens, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is essentially removal with damage to the face so like abrupt decay yes i mean they could counter it but they would be losing tempo yes it doesn't have the uh, ability to kill planeswalkers and other permanents uh, if their loyalty is above f a certain amount that abrupt decay could kill but wow for one red for one red it is the most played card i believe in modern and probably legacy maybe not legacy i think legacy is brainstorm but Modern, it is the most played card, it is a heavily played card in Legacy, and any format it is in, it has dominated. Uh, the ratio of one red for a free damage at a instant speed for a target creature or player, it doesn't really get much better than that. 